Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my hat. Buy it all. I also have a playlist. Stream it now. Hi everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my comments, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. Wow, this really wasn't the beginning, but, uh, but, what? Alrighty, it is Monday, March 23rd. I'm just sitting here scrolling Twitter, and what do I see here? I see a Christine Teigen saying, I'll make a banana bread for anyone who has romaine lettuce. The trade will be made six feet apart, and we place the goods on the floor. No funny business. Guess who has romaine? Me. Guess who has three heads of romaine? Also, me. I don't know if she's gonna respond. Andrew told me not to film because it might set me up for a letdown. Or... It's setting me up for a trending video, dare I say. Hmm? Well, I can't really zoom, I'm already too close to the camera. That's, I guess that's the update. Um, so I guess we wait and see, and then this will probably get deleted. All right, this is me editing this whole monstrosity. I figured while we wait for Chrissy Teigen's response. Also guys, I say her last name like differently every time I say it, so just trying to do right by everybody. Because I have a lot of new eyes on my videos, I want to explain that while I've been in self-quarantine, every video that I put up, I select an organization or a cause to bring to your guys' attention to hopefully donate or volunteer with or to learn about to work with in the future. Now the organization I picked for this video is Los Angeles Family Housing. I live in Los Angeles and homelessness is, I wanna say, an epidemic, as it is in a lot of places around the country. These people don't have a roof over their head. They don't have proper hygiene to wash their hands. They don't have the accessibility to food that we have. Los Angeles Family Housing is really striving to make sure that our homeless community is seen and is taken care of. So by donating or volunteering, you are helping increase disease prevention for the homeless community. You're helping provide sanitation supplies. You're helping provide motel rooms and safe quarantine spaces. And you're, <clears throat> excuse me, puberty, not now. You're also supporting staffing costs and providing meals. And it's just so wildly important. The people People magazine articles and the E! News articles are fun and all, but let's really come together and contribute to something that's actually important. Not that the banana bread isn't, just saying. Even if you have only just one dollar or five dollars, or if you have more than that, please consider giving. Let's come together and support Los Angeles Family Housing or your local organization that's helping the homeless community in your area. Let's do it, guys. We got this! I don't know what that Quidditch World Cup audience cheering was, but let's just get back to the video. Oh my god, I hope she replies. Oh my god, Chrissy quote tweeted me. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta get something timely! Alrighty, I recorded a video and sent this. Hello, Miss Tigan. Yeah, that's right, I know that's your last name. Here's the three. It is, I don't know the fucking date, we're in a fucking pandemic. Oh, it's the date. Monday the 23rd. Oh my god. Oh wait, I'm tapping my phone, not my watch. See, the 23rd, I mean, I don't fucking have a newspaper, I'm a millennial, uh... Okay, and now we wait. We have a reply. Oh my god! Is she coming over? Okay, Chris, I trust you, let me make the bread and I'll be in your area tomorrow early afternoon! <gasps> I mean, it's cool, it's whatever. We're chill, we're cheering. Ch we're chill, we're chilling. Siri, get the bong ready, the pipe, the bowl, the joint, the edibles. So apparently Chrissy Teigen's coming over tomorrow, um, with banana bread. <laughs> what if we eat the romaine? <laughs> and now I look like I'm in Spy Kids. You know? With those little helicopter? Anyway. What the fuck is happening in this pandemic? I've changed and we, there's an update. Crap, at Chris Clemens, I only have enough for one banana bread and John is not happy. I'm trading it. Would you accept oh half a banana bread? Please, my family, have mercy on us. Am I fighting John Legend for banana bread right now? <laughs> literally couldn't get more out of hand. Sorry, this has all been a lot of adrenaline and um, shaking. This is like my first real interaction with a human that I don't know. So this is pretty exciting for me. So the last we settled on, I think she's getting three of my romaine and I'm getting half of a banana bread she's making for me, but also John Legend, and then a slice of pie. If I knew that playing the Oregon Trail on the PC when I was seven was gonna turn to this, man, that seven-year-old would be like, Huh? What I have noticed is that nobody shows up for Chrissy Teigen like white girls. I mean, my phone has been blowing up today. So the video I sent to Chrissy Teigen being like, uh, yeah, I, here's the romaine. Tyra Banks just liked it. Guys, look at Tyra, ba oh, Taylor Banks. Okay, well, um, <laughs> this is fucking mortifying. I could have sworn it said Tyra Banks. <laughs> So, there's been a development. The development starts with an E and ends with bulls. I don't know. It starts with E and ends with 
Dibbles. There we go. This is so stupid just to say that I'm making a sandwich. I've made it this fucking far. I'm making apparently a triple decker. And I realized I need fucking romaine. What the fuck do I do now? Hi, Christine. Um, could I, could I take three shreds of romaine from the head, please? Anyways, I'm gonna delete this footage now as well. Oh my god, it's out of the oven. <laughs> This is like what I thought delivery would be in 2020. This mukbang's about to be insane. Oh man. Oh man is right! Oh my god, she's putting butter on it. I'm like literally taking notes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I see. I see how it is. The recipient of my banana bread, John. It is 9.03 p.m. And there is a People Magazine article. And that's the picture they fucking went with? What the fuck? People. Yeah, I'm in the middle of fully playing Fortnite, but like, wow. And they called me a comedian. Come <laughs> through Twitter bio. Oh my God, should I say priest? Oh my God, that would have been so much more funny if <laughs> I said fucking priest. Today's the day. Literally looks like I haven't left the fucking office. But um, yeah, basically I woke up and I was just like, okay, Chris, let's get this bread. I just realized that this video is pretty much just a live reading of my Twitter feed at this point. <laughs> Update on this, uh, what are we, a journey? Is this an endeavor? Is this a saga? Let's call it a saga, I like that. So apparently, we both have therapy this afternoon. We're gonna get our minds right, and then anytime between 3 and 6.30, so. I get back from therapy, you know, exchanging quarantine stories. And then she says, I just talked about you on a very weird home interview with James Corden. Haha. Ha. Based off the conversation, I think this is gonna be honestly so fun. And it's not because I haven't had human interaction besides Andrew in 10 days. We're meeting her in one hour and she told us to film. She's gonna film. She's like, people need closure to the story. <sighs> She's bringing John. Just having this realization that the one time we're leaving our house to not get groceries is to literally social distance with Chrissy Teigen and John Legend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, update. <laughs> we're lost. So we have made it to the church parking lot and I don't know what natural power move this was, but. <laughs> Staring at the front gate of the fucking entrance. It's like, yo, Trey, do you think you can get Chrissy to bring us a bottle of rose? I'm gonna hey guys, just social distancing with fucking Chrissy Teigen and John. So I'm thinking we measure out. We had a Mercedes at first, and we forgot the remote. Oh, I'm so, so sorry you had to slam it with little tight. <laughs> Wrong, so it's probably gonna go backwards. She's like, I have a nanny to drive us, but I assembled the car. Here's our method of transporting the goods. And by goods, I mean literally three heads of mediocre romaine. Bring her on over, John. Send it over. <laughs> it's all in there. <laughs> like, I actually fucking care. Please don't hit the Range Rover, please don't hit- Okay, great. So good, little buddy. That's like six feet, like. All right. We're like eight parking spots. <laughs> I do have to admit, last night my edibles hit and I so badly wanted through That I do edibles? Yeah, the cat's out of the bag. Oh, thank you for our ice, here's your car. Thank you. Thank you to your kids for letting us borrow. Wonky the Wonka. The banana bread is in the trunk. Literally, I don't know how else to feel other than like, I'm just so excited over the fact that we literally just had human contact. No, I'm sorry, human interaction with someone I've never met before. God, my brain right now is just like question mark, question mark, exclamation point, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, burp, question mark. See, <laughs> that's how I feel when I think about the exchange. That exchange rate, <laughs> was a bottle of John's wine, a homemade banana bread, two slices of pie, food she ordered because she thought I was vegan, and they got Trader Joe's romaine. Did I just rob? Alrighty, guys, the trade's been done. Okay, we have some chips that maybe she got into. The next we have... Oh, John's exclusive wine! Actually, so excited because I never buy this for myself. We getting drunk tonight. Oh, the guacamole she ordered for us because she thought we was vegan. <gasps> oh! Like literally the reason we're in this mess. The motherfucking 
banana bread. Like literally she made this for us. Oh, oh my god, she can I hold that? Be careful. Ha! What the fuck? <laughs> oh just oh, the pie! I forgot about the pie! Well we have some oh vegan god. meats. Ignore literally the entirety of how much I'm sweating. <gasps> Oh my god, this is literally, I was, never mind, I was gonna make a cum joke, guys, for how good it was, I didn't, but this is as gooey as my pants right now, thank you. <sighs> I need to change into a t-shirt. We're gonna change, BRB. Oh, wait, before we change, let's open the banana bread. Oh my god. I literally feel like I'm being more delicate than I would with my own child. <gasps> oh! That sexy little preview. Oh my god, I don't, I'm gonna stop moaning because, oh, this is different. Oh, hey. you're different. Oh we are gonna go change because clearly we are sweating way too much and then we will eat this all and tell you how it is. I also don't know what that weird sex operator phone line voice was. Guys, I'm selling this tinfoil Chrissy touched on even. <laughs> In the middle of a fucking pandemic. <laughs> Highest bidder. I really want this guacamole so bad. She ordered from the place I literally order from all the time. So I will say something I didn't get on camera. She said these three romaine heads were some of the best. I stopped vlogging at some point because I it just felt weird. Yeah, why are we even eating this? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I haven't eaten anything literally all day. Should we get a glass of wine? Look, thanks, wine John. <laughs> thanks. Dear close personal friend, John Legend. I don't even know how to open this classy of wine. There's no like pull thing. Oh my God, I'm gonna get fucking drunk. This is John's LVE Red Legend Vineyard Exclusive 2015. This one goes to John and Chrissy, mostly Chrissy. <laughs> I say as I literally drink his wine. Wow, that is, that is good. There's no shiver, there's no <coughs> This sucks. This, this sucks. Suck. We'll never have this again. <laughs> it's not even because I'm sucking the farts out of the people's ass who gave us this. This is good. I hope. This video never plays in their house, on their phones. Please, anywhere, please. Luna, turn it off! <laughs> Miles, get back in the car, we did this exchange in! When she said we were gonna bring a Mercedes, I was like, yeah, you're in a <laughs> Range Rover, though. And then I realized they were talking about the car. Let's eat this pie, I know we should probably warm it up. I want it as is. Oh my god. I don't even like Pie. Like, I don't know if it's ever, if it's because I've never had good apple pie. This is fucking like room temp and it's better than literally oh. most cooked pies I've had. Oh my god. Jesus could never. Look, no, yeah, no offense. Jesus could just never. He could turn water into wine, but was it fucking LVE? I don't think so. Sure, he could make a lot of bread or fish or something. Was it apple pie? Apple, absolutely fucking not. This is seriously the best fucking pie I've ever had. It's so good. I, going into it, I did not want to finish it, but my mouth. Is I'm so happy we didn't fucking share a slice. That would've been so stupid. This is so hard to handle. Like, we'll never have this again. We will just never. Chrissy, please don't unfollow me on Twitter. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> just us <laughs> looking at it. Oh my god. Woke up and really got that fucking bread. And I think that's the second time I've made that joke this video. <laughs> oh my god, we are literally eating the banana bread. The banana bread. The banana bread TM that Chrissy Teigen made us. All right, let's take a bite on three. One, two. <laughs> literally just bashed my head into a cabinet. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I thought my mom's banana bread was good. Mom, no offense. I'm gonna put the other half of mine in the toaster. Me too, me too. We're pulling the bread out of the toaster. Oh my god. 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 Okay, so this is how she hand oh fed it to yawn last night. Cheers. Cheers. This is the Chrissy Teigen way. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh-huh. Oh my god. And uh-huh. Oh, we went to church. I just want to thank Chrissy and John for literally being so cool with all of this and like letting us film and like literally encouraging filming and throwing another slice of pie in for me. Go get cravings so by Chrissy Teigen and watch all of her 18 shows get, on television. Get and the wine, get the pots and the pans. Met them for five minutes, six feet apart <laughs> in a church parking lot. But like literally, I am rooting for them till the end of life. Thank you to everybody who was so invested. What a time. Why? Love you guys. Stay safe. Go donate and do your part and stay the fuck. Stay home! Good night and goodbye. And the transmission to the simulation. I'm doing an interview with Ryan Seacrest. And he's with us now. Chris Clemens, coming to the Romaine Rescue. How are you, bro? Hi, Ryan. How are you? Do you need any Romaine? A reality star whose last name starts with K? What do you need? What can I get you? <laughs> You know, I have romaine, uh, it's the, it's the 
foundation of the Caesar salad that I like to make. Good. Well, that is a good start for a Caesar salad. Let us. <laughs> so tell me, you, uh, you, did you, I, I lost the story after I saw you say you had the romance. Did you make the handoff with Chrissy Teigen? We made the handoff. It happened in a church parking lot. Social distancing was very much in effect. A nice eight foot distance. And a whole lot of calories now in my body, so I'm living la vida loca. She showed up, she showed up and you showed up, and you put your, your goods down, you made the trade. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't that simple, no. Um, <laughs> um, no, her and John showed up, and they brought one of their kids' cars, and that was the vehicle for the exchange. So we were pushing, yes, a little tyke back and forth with romaine and wine in it, yes. <laughs> Same. Did you, so did you give them some wine or they gave you some wine? No, I don't know. I gotta say I don't understand like the currency exchange rate with this trade because we got um, a banana bread, two slices of pie, a bottle of wine that I would never buy for myself. Um, what else? They ordered us vegan chicken and guacamole and then they got three, they got three mediocre heads of romaine, so... Yeah, I really, I, I listen, I tried, I was like, is it really, can, should we make you a banana bread? Like, I don't, this doesn't feel fair. Um, Chris, what, 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 if you weren't uh, in isolation, what do you do for work or tell me about you? I'm a comedian. I make videos on YouTube where I just really, you know, it's like, if you think like, oh, what would happen if you did this? I kind of do that. I don't really know. Sometimes I interview strangers. Um, sometimes I... Um, I don't know. I've made a uh, Hot Wheels. I've made rollerblades out of Hot Wheels. Yeah, it's kind of just like a hot mess. Well, I, listen, we need a little bit of funny hot mess in this uh, day and age, in this time that we're living in right now. Oh, trust me. And there, tomorrow's video with Chrissy and John and the banana bread is going to be insane. Okay. Well, and Chris Clemens, thank you for coming to the rescue. You take care of yourself, bud. Thanks I don't know if I'm coming to the rescue as much as, like, literally the people in grocery stores, hospitals, etc. But I thank you. I do what I can all in a day's work. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Brian, Brian was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> 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 and that was my last interview ever. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>